Hello everybody, Blind Bricks here, and today I'm reviewing the Spider-Man Far From Home Hydro-Man Attack. And it is a it is a pretty cool set. And yeah, there are four builds. No, three. Three builds. The biggest and main one being this big bridge. So, there are two main play features on this really cool looking bridge. They use these pieces that are one by twos that are usually attached to ladders. And then they use these one by ones with the like two things on each side. On a bunch of slope bricks to create this really cool architectural style. They also use these pillars and to this right is this bell tower kind of thing. There's this web which you can angle and there is this bridge. And sadly, there's only three tiles for the character to walk on because the pillars in the back are on the last tile. So there's a little less space, but it creates a cool building style, so it's worth it. And I'm going to turn this around, and you see this knob? Well, when I push it, let me push it harder. Whoops. It, it collapses the bridge. And that's just a small little build with a, like the, the magnet kind of underside piece. The magnet kind of underside piece attached to the one by, or two by two round plate with the hole in the middle so that it can attach to this axle or rod and then attach to this little ball piece and they're just using only a couple dots on each thing and this little bridge build just fits in like that and it pushes the you can see it pushes the thing back so when you push it in the action is created now on this side on this side there is this little, like, what I'm guessing is going to be a sewer hole. There's nothing connecting it. And then right in front of that is a rat, the new scabbers mold, which I'm excited that they're using that a bunch of times. And there's a dot with a hole in it and then a gem on it. I did another build of that because there were extras. And then here's this little dock build. These barrels fall over super easily because they're only on one stud. And it's just a staff, a short staff piece, like a lightsaber blade, going through three little barrels on top of each other. And they go on this little, I guess, dock or pier build. I would guess a dock build. And yeah, it's just a small little build. And then there are steps going up to this thing above the sewer, this little platform. And on the bridge, there are these nice molded spider web pieces. Kind of like the power blast, but they're molded to be it. So it kind of looks like a bunch of webbing all along. There's two there and one big one here. So I'm guessing it's connecting all of the things together so the bridge doesn't fully collapse. And so here's this little cafe. Nice little awning kind of build right here. Uh, these, what I'm guessing, are stickers. And then out here, there's this nice little lamppost, which I guess you can put Spider-Man on. Maybe. Let's try that. Oops. Let's try that. Yeah. Oops. Oh. And then... This little tower build is pretty nice. It uses this little build with these... And then this is on top of these new brick pieces that are showed off on the clock tower set, since this is from the same year as that, and they're just on 
uh, one by one bricks with dots on the front of them. And then there's just four dots, so you connect this little tower onto it, and it looks like a bell tower. Do the spider web, which all of these have little connection points where you can put what my guess would be is to hold on to Peter Parker. But you can also hold on to his legs, or his legs like that, or his legs like that. Moving on, here's this little build for this outdoor cafe there's this like there's this little chain connecting two barrels and my guess is that's supposed to be like a like a gate kind of thing that's blocking anyone from falling into the water and there's this little thing because it's supposed to be a bunch of bridges kind of over the water and so it's like the water's going through under all of this and then there's this little, another build, similar to the one on the back, but I have to get one of the characters first. So, we are going to get Hydro Man, because he is the only character with no accessories that we have to take off. And so, a character without accessories, it doesn't have to be this one, it probably shouldn't. You just, you don't put them fully on the dots so they're not secure and then you just do this and it kind of knocks it over honestly the harder it does it gets it better kind of hard to do it from this angle but let me show you so they fall into the water like that so if spider-man is trying to launch into action even though it doesn't really like support him with his accessories and you know he would need that to go into action. And then other than that, there's not really any more builds. Um on that build I just showed you, there's a what I'm guessing is a pizza slice. It's that corner tile, so I'm gonna guess it's a pizza slice because it's next to a cup. And I'm surprised they didn't use the new Harry Potter teacup mold, but I guess it's supposed to be like a cup of coffee. Since back behind this, there's this little coffee maker machine. It's a nice little build, another coffee mug. These one by two, or no, one by one dots, but they're connected to like short bars. And they're under this one by two sloped piece on this little build. And so it creates a coffee maker. And the only other thing to show you is there's this nice little flower arrangement. And it's on this log brick, so it looks like a little flower bed. And yeah. Other than that, there is two other builds. And I will get to them. This build is Hydra Man. I kind of wish it was bigger. This build reminds me of the giant ursula from the little mermaid and i guess if you took her body from the minifigure you could put it on it to make it look like that honestly i kind of wish they'd give you a bigger build for it because it seems like it should be massive waves and stuff but compared to the actual bridge i mean it's taller than the bridge but it's not as tall as the pillars which I feel like it would it should be like smashing into the bell tower and the pillars and stuff. So yeah. Honestly, Hydra Man just fits into that. Uh nice wave little builds using these like grill engine kind of pieces. And they kind of look like nails. And he just sits in there. And then the final build, which is obviously one of my favorites of the set. Probably even my ultra favorite is this little gondola they use they use those little pieces under a little build and they use these pieces which i showed you were part of the the bottom part of the sewer little opening they use two of them and yeah there are these uh one by two slopes that are not curved, I guess. 
And then there's four studs, so I guess you can place four minifigures standing together. But the only real one they give you is MJ. Speaking of the minifigures, we shall look at it. We have already kind of looked at a few of them. We looked at Hydra Man and MJ a little bit, but I'm going to show you them last. So first is Mysterio, this nice round helmet, work for maybe like a Chaos minifigure, and then this super flowy cape, and if you, you can fold it so it kind of looks like robes essentially. Since I don't like the dress piece, I might use that for robes, just like put it to the side because it honestly feels like robes. I mean. Yeah, he has these power blasts with just boom, and you just clip them back into the hand. Next up is Peter Parker, which there are some extra accessories. There's this extra little power blast web shooter thingy. Um, yeah, um, there's this little mask because... Uh, apparently he has an alternate face. So this is Peter Parker. He has this little, oops. He has this little web attachment build, and this is the little grabber arm that I was using on the different clip things. Very useful if you want to play with him. And then... believe he has an alternate face for this mask because yeah this sort of in the movie he takes like a little like mask thing from like a s vendor and so I guess they're trying to represent that with this but honestly they should have just given a new molded piece to put on him but yeah, I mean, no new hair piece, so, but this hat, like, hat piece kind of thingy is cool. It has some lines in it, kind of looks like a Homer, like a, like a Charlie Brown maybe, because it's just like smooth and it has these stripes on it. Maybe it's supposed to represent the mask, like I said, from that scene in the movie. And then here's MJ. She has this stick for the gondola because you don't get anyone else. No new hair piece, sadly. And sadly, they're not using mid legs since they've had them for a year or even more now. Um, and since they're teenagers, I feel like they should have used the mid legs since they used them for the teenager Harry Potter characters. And then finally is Hydra Man showed you him earlier nothing different literally just a dude no hair although i guess you could put the hat on him to pretend like he's spider-man let me try it huh i guess he's the real spider-man and that was the review please Please uh, comment, tell me what you thought of the review, what the set, and tell me which set you think I should do next. I have a bunch of sets left to review. So, comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.